So now let's look at a few more examples with cylinders. So let's say I want you to sketch the surface represented by each equation. So the first one we're going to look at is z equals y squared. So here notice you don't have your variable x and so what this means is you're going to get a cylinder here. You get a cylinder and the generating curve generating curve of this cylinder will be z equals y squared. And what does this curve look like? Well, it's a parabola in the yz plane. So let's sketch this curve here. Again, this is x and y and z. So here, you're going to look at the yz plane. So look at well, the yz plane corresponds to x equals 0. And you're going to draw this parabola here. At x equals 0. And then all you've got to do, that's your generating curve, is move that parabola up and down the x-axis. So here, I'm going to move it so you're getting this kind of shape here. Let's see if I can make that picture look a little bit nicer. So what does this look like? It kind of looks like if you take a piece of paper and bend it, bend the two sides together, you get kind of this U shape. And that's essentially what our cylinder looks like there. Let's look at one more. Z equals sine X. And X is going to be restricted to 0 to 2 pi. So here... I'm missing my y variable, and so I'm going to get a cylinder, and my generating curve is going to be z equals sine x, and this is going to be in the xz plane. So the xz plane corresponds to y equals 0. So it might help you first to think about in the xz plane, what does this curve look like? xz, we're graphing the sine function only between 0 and 2 pi. And then 2 pi. So your graph looks like this and this, and then that and that. Kind of squeezed it in there. And so now let's draw the, the graph here of our surface we get, our cylinder. X, Y, and Z. So we're going to start by drawing our generating curve here in the X, Z plane, so Y equals 0. And when x is 2 pi, it's going to, here's pi and here's 0. So it goes vertically up to 1 on z and then vertically down. And then you're going to trace that 
along the y-axis. So you're going to get this shape here. That's kind of curved, curved up here and then down there. So again, you can think about it as like you're folding a sheet of paper and you're getting this kind of cylinder there. 